Your granddaughter, yes. your sister, yes. your niece, yes. your cousin, yes. your neighbor, Auntie. your old classmate. Yes. And I am here tonight, two days before Liberation Day, to ask you to place your trust and to put your ex next to the and the surrounding polling divisions. Those who are still alive and very active with us, and I'm going to call some names, but even if I forgot to mention your name, don't take it personal. So since my beautiful lady is in front, Ms. Lystra and Ms. Marshall, thank you so much. Give them a round of applause. Ms. Ashton. Miss Margaret and Sam and family, I saw you just now there. Big up, big up you in a large way. Hey, hey, Shall be the princess. The Thank you so much. Yeah, and yeah. the one person that I love and appreciate all the way in this day, she did. I don't have to call she did. Tell me who I'm talking about. Lambada. <laughs> I'm following you. Her real name is Miss Estin Ferreira. Give her a love. Yeah. I love and appreciate you. <laughs> Miss Jemina Lead. Let's yeah. man. Miss Kelly Shah, see you over there by Rashida and Javan and the entire crew. Yeah. Miss Shereen Martin. Yeah. I feel like my love. Yeah. Thank you for coming on board. That is one of our first time voters and she was yeah. be voting for her future. Yeah. And I say, Ms. Martin, my love, Mr. Bertrand, Rafa thank you and I love you. To my cousin, I love you. Thank you for the support. Mr. Dorani Marshall, Mr. Charlie Muller, Ms. Calvin Smith and Pumpkin and family, Mr. Ricky Pariag and family, Jean Peters, Mommy Val, Cosmos, Miss Grant, Auntie Gata, Miss Omi, Miss Alex Edwards, Miss Angela Richardson, Miss Annette, Miss Annette, I saw you, I'll see you again, but I saw you. Miss Mary Hosten, of course, the Be Nice crew, my brother in law. Yeah. They will make me quick, don't finish all the days. 
humiliate, to humiliate our farmers and persons who are passionate and have their livelihood embedded in agriculture, then you know that they are not genuine and they are only trying to score cheap political points. And if they say I lie again, check the social media platforms and listen to my plans since the beginning of June. Friends, we have another next station. We have another next station that is in dire need of a facelift. And because of the decrease in nutmeg production, there isn't much tourism attraction taking place. Now, if you give the NEC party an opportunity to form the next administration, we will then show. And it's not a government trying to take all the thing from the GCN hands, as Mr. Machu alluded to in the other side. But we will ensure that we partner with the necessary authorities to elevate our tourism offering to include small scale production in the making of byproducts in this nutmeg station. Not only will this increase the standard of the tourism site itself. But it will give those of you who are vending an opportunity to make more money when the season is high. And I want to say and salute our past and present employees of the Guav Nutmeg Processing Station for their many years. Give, make some noise for the people that are risking their lives. and tourism sectors and I want them to know that we love and appreciate you. Friends, our country was once known as the Isle of Spice and so we do intend to carry that title once again. Hence, we will embark on replanting all of our spices in St. John and plant new spices variations from Jamaica and Africa, for example. And I must recognize the young and more matured farmers of Koje. I had a wonderful meeting with them yesterday, and they are the ones who give me that thing as a plant to put along the agriculture. So make some noise for the young farmers and more mature ones in Koje. Friends, in an effort to promote wellness and preventative health care as a lifestyle, we will embark on introducing new farming techniques and revamping the idea of backyard farming of short crops for those of you living in the heart of the town. And so, we will provide training and support to establish hydroponic farms young people and others who have an interest in such type of farming and hydroponics is really planting using water and solution instead of salt. Yes. Friends, for our infrastructure and housing development, we will, when you elect me, when you elect me as your next we will ensure that we place emphasis and serious attention to the preservation and restoration of buildings of historical significance and our historical sites such as the federal camp, Palmer's Lake, among others. And you heard Brother Nancy Bob reiterated that earlier on. I don't think that could change. Friends, we are also making a commitment to upgrade the Cuthbert Peters Park to accommodate national sporting events and activities that promote health and wellness. On countless occasions, you have heard our party leader in his weekly town meeting address the situation of housing in Grenada and has also given a commitment to address it in a meaningful way. Friends, this is another pie in the sky vision is there again. But today, today we're hearing that they are making empty promises about addressing 
addressing the housing problem in our constituency. Now, if, if they did not do it in nine and a half years, what make you think if you give them another five years, they will do it for you? No guarantee, right? Our friends, I am here tonight to let you know that when you elect me as your next parliamentary representative, myself along with the NDC administration will ensure that we provide genuine access to affordable Grenadian style housing for residents of St. John. Let me look fix so. Yes, and we go provide homes for those who are in need of it. I want to call them because we're diplomatic around here, right? Friends, regarding health and wellness, we would look into the installation of indoor and outdoor exercise facilities, such as a gym, bicycle tracks, and other sporting aids. Friends, we all a few months ago about the possibility of establishing green spaces and outdoor parks and playgrounds around the parish for use by everyone from infants to the elderly <laughs> and now today again friends we hearing that they are not promising that too so it is not by the skies after all with regards to youth and youth development as your next parliamentary representative, I will ensure, I will make some noise about that though he has to leave for the long term of the contract. We love and we appreciate you. Thank you for coming. Friends, as your next parliamentary representative, I will ensure that proper training and certification is available for you in key and emerging sectors like construction management, masonry and carpentry, tiling, electrical and plumbing, painting. And those with the soft, I the one presenting, right? So you're waiting on what I, okay? Today, for once, I'm leading. From Thursday on what I follow you. Know. Okay? And to those of you with the soft skills and information technology, we will also, and we have also recognized that in order to meet the demands of the new economy, we must ensure that our young people are qualified. Alright, so those who are in IT, we will make the provisions for you as well too. And to those of you who are interested in furthering your education and skills, most scholarships, most scholarships will be provided for you. And in order to house these and other programs, we will make the construction and the identification of a suitable site a top priority to build a proper state-of-the-art multi-purpose community center in Guam. Make some noise, I just said, when you elect your next parliamentary yeah, I, 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 I